It is New Year's Eve 2023, and we are at Big Ben Ranch State Park in Texas. We made it just before dark to Rincon 1 campsite on the other side of the park. That was day one. That was an incredible drive, and in the riverbed, some hill climbs, fantastic campsite, very quiet. It got extremely cold. We know it had to have been in the teens uh, that first night, and we definitely paid for that. The second day, we came here, but well, we drove from Rincon 1 to Saucedo Ranger Station, checked in again, which they ask that you do. If you're in this park out in the backcountry, they ask that you try to check in every day so they know that you're alive. We left there, got back on the main park gravel road, and then hit uh, an unmaintained road, uh, which the road to Rincon 1 is also unmaintained, but we hit an unmaintained road to Rancheria's campsite, which is where we are now, and it is fantastic. And then, day three today, we took a drive to Madrid Falls uh, along the Rancheria's unmaintained road pass on Gual Road. We have been on most roads at Big Bend National Park and the roads at Big Bend Ranch State Park are actually rougher. Uh, more time in four low, uh, more time having to actually uh, watch what you're doing and technical driving. So if you're really looking for something remote, Big Bend Ranch State Park rather than Big Bend uh, National Park, even though we love Big Bend National Park too.
does getting a driving lesson. So we went to Madrid Falls, made the hike to Madrid Falls, uh, Fresno Canyon Overlook and that sort of thing. That was fantastic, beautiful, but it was fabulous. And then we left Madrid Falls, drove back here, and Brenda got some driving lessons today. She drove half the way. She drove all the way on the unmaintained road to Rancho Rio, all the way back to camp, and she did fabulous. We had a lot of fun. It's been a great day. It's New Year's Eve. We have a lot of firewood. We're going to cook some hot dogs and uh, enjoy the night here. And then tomorrow we take Rancherias back out to 
Main Park Road, 25 miles out on that road back to the river, the Rio Grande, and then from there to Presidio and back home. If you're coming to Big Bend Ranch State Park, there isn't any gas on this park, and it is 103,000 acres. So you have to make a gas plan because the only place to get gas is either at Lajitas or Presidio. So that is going to determine the length of your stay and the amount of exploration on the four-wheel drive roads that you can do. I filled up at Lajitas before we drove the river road, uh, which is, uh, I think, FM 170, I'm probably wrong. 170 or 117, it's one of those two. And then Bofacius Road, and then all the way to Rincon. Anyway, we put a lot of miles in after we left Lajitas, so I made, and uh, which was 5.39 a gallon there. So I made sure that I brought an extra five gallons, filled that up there, then as soon as we got, I used that up, uh, I filled, put that back in the tank. We've done well on gas, but if you plan to spend more than a couple of days here exploring these four-wheel drive roads, you're going to need at least five to ten gallons of gas. If I were going to stay, we were going to stay one more day, I would have brought another five gallons of gas. Again, if you're coming to Big Bend Ranch State Park, there are so many trails here. There are maintained off-road trails. There are unmaintained off-road trails. There are mountain bike trails. There are hiking trails. There are miles and miles and miles of trails. And there, sometimes there are in locations that they're easy to miss. Or someone has done some alternate driving that make it look like there's a trail that there isn't. So if you're coming here, it is incredibly important that you get first the Texas Parks and Wildlife exploration map of Big Bend Ranch State Park. And this shows every trail, it's a topographical map, it shows every trail of all kinds and campsites on the park. And it it's ten ninety five at the visitor center, so you can probably buy it online. This is of vital importance. We monitored this the entire time, but coupled that with Gaia GPS on the phone app and to monitor our progress just to make sure we were where we were supposed to be at all times. And I tracked our course the entire time on Onyx Off Road where I had downloaded all the maps offline and then also we have Garmin Earthmate as a backup. So do not come out here with just one means of navigation but at least come out here and buy the map. In case you're wondering Big Bend Ranch State Park and we have been over a large section of it not all of it by any means but a large section of it. Cell phone you are not going to have any cell phone coverage. AT&T coverage was in a couple of tiny spots that uh, really are insignificant but other than that your cell phone isn't going to work so do not rely on that there may be a couple of spots here and there like I say but for the most part do not rely on your cell phone working uh, I have a GMRS radio also on the Jeep and then of course we have the Garmin inReach where we can communicate with someone if we need to but just making it clear don't rely on cell phone coverage
are back at the main road, main park road, which will be about 20 miles back to the river, and then on to Presidio.